what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to explain aurora asset editor what it is why it exists and i would actually work with aurora dashboard on rgh3 or jtag 360 console i've already covered the usability and how to get it um working in previous videos so i'm just going to explain in deeper depth how it actually works so aurora asset manager is a pc tool used to manage game artwork for the aurora dashboard it lets you manually add or fix box art background images banner and screenshot that are missing so aurora normally downloads artwork automatically from xbox unity whenever time you map a location for your games or emulate or any application when that fails due to offline console or server issue our asset manager lets you manually fix these missing assets or box art or whatever that is missing whenever time our should load it and doesn't load it at all so with Aurora Asset Editor, you can edit box art, background image, banner, screenshot, and some metadata so that your game looks the way it should look as if Aurora itself added it to the media itself. When this information is downloaded to your console, it is saved onto your Xbox internal hard drive and it is saved by the game title ID for each game. So to use this application, as I demonstrated in previous video, you need Aurora installed on your console. You need Aurora Asset Editor on your PC, your console's IP address, and your FTP username and password, which you can find through options in your Aurora dashboard. I know the tools actually work. The tool connects to your console via FTP. It scans your game library and it uploads whatever assets directly into the Aurora's folder, as I have demonstrated before. So, so basically, step one, you would enter your Xbox IP address and FTP credential. And this you can find when you're in your Aurora dashboard, you press the start button on your controller and you scroll down to module. Then you go over to your right onto where you have your FTP server connection. When you open that up, you can see where you can either set or use a default credentials to log to access your library. So once you put that information in, the editor will scan the games and using their title ID, you can either select a particular game, you right click, you get all assets. And if that particular game have no assets, it will load blank pages. And from that point, you can manually search for that game either by title id or by the game itself and you'll be provided a list of different images that you can select from once you've selected that image um, you can set both the screenshots you can set banner you can set the, um, the little thumbnail and you can set the, the main cover art once you've set those to get it apply you will go back to that game list You'd right click and you'll select um, save all assets as I've demonstrated previously. And this will save all the assets for that particular game title straight to Aurora on your R drive on your console. And once this is done, you can just reboot your console. And once it's once Aurora refresh, you'll see um, the new update of um, the box art that you have added. So the common 
problem that the Aurora asset editor fixes is missing box art, wrong cover art, of, and for offline offline consoles, um, it, you can use it to fix those as well, and it fixed failed downloaded cover art and metadata for that particular game. And if you are unable to find it through search, you can create your own and add it as I've shown previously. So best practices in using our asset editor, you have to make sure that you use the correct size image if you're adding your own. Make sure that the title ID matches whatever image you're doing. So if you search for a game and the title ID is not correct, you'll get images for a total separate game. And after you do a bulk, bulk change, make sure to restart Aurora, or you can just restart your console. And this will conclude another episode of RGH3101, where I explain in depth all the Aurora Asset Manager works. Like, like comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.